Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel and also my uh, video podcast. Uh, I'm Dr. Nash Josic. I've spent over 40 years in fitness industry and also bodybuilding. I uh, have competed 46 times and I have won 17 titles. In the meantime, I also published nine books on building muscle, burning fat, uh, competitive bodybuilding, nutrition, and uh, I have also personally trained and supervised over 3,000 clients who have achieved fantastic results, and most of them achieved actually the best shape of their lives. So I hope that on my YouTube channel you will uh, <clears throat> find uh, information that will help you also improve your physique, build muscle, and burn fat. Now, uh, <clears throat> in this video or video podcast, Today, I want to talk about uh, protein timing. I think this is an extremely important subject, and uh, I hope that you're going to watch this video until the end, because I will be tackling a few issues which are very, very important uh, in actually supplying your body with adequate amount of protein at the perfect time. Now, in order to understand what is the best time for consuming protein, we need to understand that uh, protein is not the same. Not every protein is the same. Basically, there are proteins which get uh, digested faster and also there are proteins that they get digested uh, slower. So uh, that, that will decide actually which type of protein you will eat and which time. Now... Uh, <clears throat> Fast uh, digesting proteins are the ones that your body literally breaks down very quickly and uh, assimilates amino acids, which are then delivered to the tissues and organs. One of the most famous fast digesting protein is whey powder protein, whey, whey protein, basically. So uh, <clears throat> its digesting time is 30 to 60 minutes. So your whey protein, once you drink that, you, it will be digested between 30 and 60 minutes and it will enter your bloodstream, it will be broken down to, to amino acids. <clears throat> so um, another one, which is also very fast digesting protein, is found in egg whites. So not whole eggs, but egg whites. And uh, the digesting time of egg whites is also 30 to 60 minutes. So there will be actually, uh, these proteins will be digested as fast as, as the whey protein. Uh, another fast digesting protein is white fish. So something like cod, for example. Uh, digesting time of white fish is again 30 to 60 minutes. Now the reason why these proteins are uh, fast digesting is because they are, these foods are basically pure protein. So when you have a whey protein powder, uh, there is no fat there. There are no carbohydrates. There is just protein. Egg whites, pure protein, no fat. White fish, almost zero fat, pure protein. So you see, this, this is important to understand because these three, as I mentioned, uh, they belong to the fast digesting proteins. Now, uh, you probably heard that there are slow digesting proteins, but before we get into them, I would mention something which is also important to know. Uh, these are medium digesting proteins. This is where chicken breast and turkey breast belong. So protein in turkey breast and chicken breast will be <clears throat> digested within 90 to 120 minutes. So it will take up to two hours to digest chicken breast or turkey breast. So they're mu much more complex uh, proteins and they uh, they are not too fast digesting, but considerably faster than slow digesting proteins. So you will see why it's important to understand that. So these are medium digesting proteins, chicken breast and turkey breast. Uh, now, finally, we have slow digesting proteins. And um, one of the most famous uh, slow digesting protein is actually casein. So casein, casein, it's a, a protein that is, uh, it takes six to eight hours to be digested. Uh, so casein actually 
forms the gel in the stomach. And that gel is then slowly digested and, and actually uh, allows for very slow release of amino acids. So this is, this is one particular protein found in casein, which you actually should consider as a slow digesting protein. Again, I will explain in a minute why it's important to understand these differences. Now, the next one is uh, a protein that you find in cottage cheese. is again casein, and uh, digesting time is six to eight hours. Again, very long digest digesting period, meaning that your body will be constantly supplied with amino acids because of this very slow digesting protein casein. So the next uh, one is beef, and uh, digestion time is four to six hours. So very slow digesting protein, very different than, for example, um, uh, chicken breast. Chicken breast you digest uh, within two hours, but for beef, red meat, it will take up to six hours. And this is uh, the main reason for that is the fat content in the beef. If the beef is very uh, low fat, it will be digested a bit faster, about four hours. But if, you, if the percentage of fat is higher, 10, 15 percent maybe, uh, it will take up to six hours. Also, fatty fish like salmon, uh, mackerel, they digest slowly too. And it will take also four to six hours for that protein to be digested. Another one very interesting is whole eggs. Whole eggs, because of the fat content in the yolk, uh, will take three to five hours to digest. So, uh, why is so important to understand this uh, ability and, uh, of protein to be digested? How uh, how fast they can be digested? Basically, it is important because this will help us dedicate the the most the best possible time for protein intake. So uh, let's stick to the fast digesting protein first. So what is the most ideal time for somebody who wants to build as much muscle as possible? Now, um, there are two times during the day when it is extremely important to supply your body with quickly digested protein. So this number one is first thing in the morning. So when you wake up in the morning, you have spent eight hours of fasting and uh, your body was using all available protein, whatever was available, in order to repair not just your muscles, but more important tissues. Tissues like your guts, liver, lungs, heart, and other vital organs. So uh, if you didn't have enough protein during the night from your food, the body will be using protein from your muscles. Now, when you wake up first thing in the morning, whether that was the case or not during the night, whether your body was using protein that you had in the last meal or maybe protein from the muscles, doesn't matter really. But what matters is that the body needs amino acids immediately. If you want to build muscles, uh, you have to have constant supply of amino acids in your body. Now, the first thing in the morning is critical because this is when you will benefit the most from fast digesting protein. Which one? As I mentioned, whey protein is a brilliant choice. So let's say you have 50, 60 grams of whey protein in water, not milk. Um, that will be digested within 30 to 60 second, uh, minutes. Also, you can have uh, egg whites that will, <clears throat> again, be digested very quickly so the body will be able to absorb amino acids uh, quickly. And uh, also white fish, although I, I don't really think you're going to eat white fish first thing in the morning, but uh, still an option. So bear in mind, if, if you have your egg whites or your protein shake, or maybe you mix them both, you will give your body uh, fast digesting protein at the most critical part of the day, which is first thing in the morning after eight hours of fasting. Now, the second 
a critical time of uh, uh, in the day for your protein intake is time immediately after your workout. So during that time, you need fast digesting protein in order to replenish amino acids that have been broken down in your muscle fibers. So your muscle fibers have been broken down, utilized during the high intensity contractions, and the body is in the urgent state of repairing them. So this makes this period uh, extremely important, so period which is immediately after your workout. So again, if you have whey protein powder, a whey protein shake in water, again, or you have egg whites, you will really do the best possible uh, thing for your body. You will give your body fast digesting protein, hence quick utilization of amino, necessary essential amino acids. Now, I said it a couple of times, not milk, but water, because when you put milk, the fat in the milk will slow down the digestion of whey protein. Or if you add any fat with your egg whites, so let's say you, if, you eat, if you eat whole eggs, it will take much longer to digest than if you eat just egg whites. So these two timings basically require from you just a single uh, fast digesting protein in the meal. Uh, after workout, you can put some uh, fast digesting carbs as well, but they can also slow down a little bit, not too much, but they will slow down the absorption of protein. So because whey uh, protein is extremely insulogenic, it on its own, it will be delivered to the muscle cells as quickly as possible. You don't need extra carbohydrates in order to spike insulin to deliver uh, whey protein uh, to the muscles because whey protein itself will stimulate enough insulin and it will be that will be uh, necessary to transport amino acids to the muscle cells so these <clears throat> two times are the most critical times for uh, uh, intake of fast digesting proteins so first thing in the morning and immediately after your workout now we have medium digesting proteins, which are, as I mentioned, found in chicken breast and turkey breast. And these proteins will be uh, perfect for the time after your first uh, intake of fast uh, protein, all the way till your workout. Uh, because you need up to two hours to digest, let's say, chicken breast, you can have multiply, multiply meals, you can have two, three, four meals until your next workout, because you can eat every two and a half hours, maybe every three hours. So if you eat chicken breast, for example, and you put just rice, or so maybe it's not much vegetables, but just let's focus on chicken uh, breast and rice, you will be able to eat within two and a half hours again. If you put any fat there, or if you put any vegetables, which are obviously uh, high in fibers, you will slow down the digestion. You will increase the volume of food in your stomach, and therefore it will take longer for that to be digested and then uh, proteins, uh, amino acids transported to the muscle cells. <clears throat> and this is one of the major reasons why bodybuilders actually uh, eat predominantly chicken and rice during the day. So you basically allow your body relatively fast digestion, which is two and a half hours, and uh, that way you can eat again and again, maybe three times till your next workout which will obviously be optimal for your um, nutrient needs uh, for training purposes. So um, now when it comes down to slow digesting proteins, the best time to eat slow digesting proteins, like for example red meat or fatty fish like salmon or mackerel, is... Uh, or, for example, cottage cheese as well, because cottage cheese is slow digesting protein because it's full of casein. The best time to uh, eat that food is the last meal of the day. Why? Because these proteins are slow digesting and they will be slowly released over the period of six hours. So let's say if you eat at 10 all the way till 4 or 5 in the morning, you will still have amino acids supplied to your 
to your muscle cells because this slow digesting protein will be there during the night. And this is, this is critical, basically. It's very important because during the night you also produce growth hormone, but growth hormone being one of the most potent hormones, growth hormones in the body, uh, obviously requires amino acids. So if there, is, there are not amino acids, what will growth, growth hormone do in your body? So ideal time to eat this slow digesting proteins like uh, like uh, red meat or um, or uh, uh, cottages, which is full of casein, is uh, last last time of the day. So because these proteins take up to eight hours to be digested. Uh, also, during the last meal, you can have a big salad or thin vegetables with fibers because these fibers will, will further down, uh, further slow down the digestion, which this is actually what you want. I mean, my favorite meal for decades has been red meat uh, at night, last meal, and uh, obviously with some, uh, uh, always with some big salad or, or thin vegetables. So uh, I always did that. So to in order to to allow my body to uh, to benefit during the uh, hours in the sleep, so during these seven eight hours, as long as I, as I sleep. So you, <clears throat> I hope you have understood now uh, the importance of protein timing. So it's not just you eat protein whenever it takes, but it's important to understand that fast digesting proteins will benefit you uh, mostly first thing in the morning and immediately after the workout. Medium digesting proteins like chicken or turkey breast are perfect for all those meals, let's say between the first one and uh, your workout, and maybe one after your workout as well, after you have your uh, protein shake, whey protein shake. But the slow digesting proteins are the best to take at night as your last meal, since they require eight hours for digestion. And again, slow digesting proteins being uh, red meat, fatty fish, and also cottage cheese. So uh, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please uh, like this video. And uh, if you didn't, please subscribe to my channel. I also welcome your uh, comments. And for those who are interested uh, in uh, better understanding, more detailed explanation about most effective training systems, uh, training techniques, uh, nutrition, diet for competition, body, competitive bodybuilding, fat loss. I have published for you uh, seven different ebooks that you can find on my uh, website, nashfittraining.com. And uh, I'm sure that they will benefit you greatly because they are full of uh, extremely important detailed information Again, about your training and training techniques, nutrition, diet, fat loss, etc. So, um, once again, I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, I shall see you in my next video. Until then, take care of yourselves.